Okay, what's up guys? Sorry, I had to uh, set up a whole new system here. So what we'll do is go from here. Might have a few bugs to work out with the sounds and stuff, but we'll see how that works out. Just give me one second here. I'm still trying to work out the kinks. Make sure that I'm still going good. Okay, so let's go with where we left off last time, guys. Um, which was we finally defeated Cynthia. Destroyed her. Got all the way there. And then Infinite come out with a huge move and uh, KO'd the Infinite in one hit. Which, oh, beauty. Okay, so... That means we are sitting with Infernape, level 85, Heracross level 76, Metachime level 79, um, Lucario 76, Machamp 79, and Toxicroak 78. Um, we should have unlocked the national deck, so my plan is to possibly switch Toxicroak out. So he was fast, but pretty much went unused through the uh, most of the game. Um, I don't think we really, he didn't do much in Elite Four. Everyone else had did a little bit of something. He did little to nothing. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. I'll do this first floor here, so. We'll see what happens because I have haven't done the post game of this game, so this is officially the furthest I've gotten. And for a while ago, I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting that he's needing you needing to get on a ship at Snow Point City. Okay, so I guess I head to Snow Point City. Do I stop and talk to Rowan first? Uh, so on the map here it says go up to Snow Point City. I want to stop just make sure there's nothing to talk to the professor about. Oh, there's. Okay, so the Celestic, the lady in the Celestic town wants to see something as well. So we gotta go there. Sure, I'll check on my, oh, I'm almost at every, I think that's how I unlock the national deck, is I have to show every Pokemon in this Pokedex. Ooh, what am I missing here? I guess I haven't checked this in a while. I feel like I'm missing, yeah, the Lake Spirits, that's literally it. Okay, I think, can I get those guys? I must be able to get them now. So if I go to the lakes, maybe. Let's quickly see. Okay, I wanna go to Celestic Town first. Then I'll check out the lakes and then we'll go to where Andy is. I really don't wanna spend time trying to catch these legendaries though. So our plan, guys, is to um, I don't remember where her house is. Is it this one over here? Our plan, guys, is to maybe round out another, replace Toxicroak um, with one of the other fighters in the national deck. Which there are a few to choose from. There ain't a ton. But uh, we'll see what we can find. Um, I, then I want to go through and each one of the gym leaders because they have an upgraded team now. Uh, see for yourself. Okay, so there. That adds that to my Pokedex. So yeah, I think literally the only ones we're missing oh, that's not what I wanted to do is the yeah, the Lake Spirits. 
I'm pretty sure that's it. We're not missing anything else. Okay, so talk to her. Let's go check see what happens when we go to the lakes. So let's start with the one by our place, I guess. I guess I should have just went there first, right? So we'll see. I guess we'll try to catch them. I really don't want to waste too much time. And remember, I only have Pokeballs, so... Uh, do I have a false swipe in here? Um, I don't think we have false swipe. No, no false swipe. So we might have to just like wing it, try to catch them. Maybe I'll save quickly beforehand, see what happens. Um, yeah, sorry, with my new setup, I have to watch a second screen to see my comments and stuff, guys. All right, I'm gonna save before I go into the cave, just in case. Well, let's try this. Let's see what happens when I go in here. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I guess we try to catch him. Oh. Uh, what happened here? Oh, it's kind of a mystery. Are these guys roaming legendaries? If they are, I 100% do not remember that. What poke attack am I supposed to be looking at here? Calendar? No, I don't know. I guess I didn't listen to him. Is it on my Poké Map? Maybe. Did they at least show up in my Pokédex? Oh, okay, so he shows up in the Pokédex. Okay. So it must be Roman Legendaries. I honestly did not know that. So I might as well go to this lake and then up to Snow Point and go to that lake. And see what happens. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so hmm, that's something I one hundred. Oh, sorry, that's something I one hundred and ten percent did not remember. I thought I would just go to each lake and peruse a battle with them. Well, let's see how far this guy's gotten. I don't even remember who all the people were that I'm supposed to talk to. Oh, I was supposed to get an unknown for this guy. Oops. My bad. Oh, yeah, no big deal. Ouch. That's not what I wanted to do. Graveler. Just on a path outside of the lake, why not? Out of all the Pokemon I could run into, Graveler's the one, for sure, right? And then of course he has 30. Get out of my house with that garbage. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I got my comments going. Um, maybe, kind of, sort of.
Sorry guys, I'm really just trying to make sure I got everything going here. Making sure everything's sounding good, looking good, before I go too much further. Oh, look at this, this lake is filled back up. So no more giant explosion. Oh, except still a lot of Pokemon, I guess. strong it's not really gonna level up much here but that's not the point I just want to make sure I want to get that Pokedex because I'm fairly certain that's how you unlock the national deck so I'll make sure I do that before I do anything else I'm gonna save because just in case I get to battle one of these guys I honestly have no Okay, so I'm battling this guy. Okay, interesting. Level 50. So I just try Pokeball right off the start. See if I get a lucky toss here. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, um. I'm gonna freaking destroy him if I attack him here. Oh, okay, that works. Just no critical hits. No critical hits. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, perfect. As long as he doesn't have recover or something. Does have psychic though, so I gotta hope he doesn't just roll my team here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of where I. No, I don't necessarily want. I don't mind catching him with Pokeballs. I know that catch rate's not very high. Maybe I will, uh, no, died. Maybe I will get some Pokeballs for the next battle. And yeah, we'll send out hair across. Psychic shouldn't be super effective against them. <sighs> yeah, I definitely should have picked up extra Pokeballs. Now watch me psychic. No, no way, not a chance. No, no. Cool, 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 cool. That works. I'll take that. That didn't take very long at all. I definitely thought it was gonna take longer. Okay, so we've seen him. We only have one more left to see, which is Uxi. We'll head up north. Is there anything else on this patch of water here? I don't think so. Remember they took that one like a champion. Any over here? Am I just running around? What about over here? Oh, there is. Nice. Five or old. Well. 
shouldn't take us much longer. Then I think we've done everything. We can head up north and check out. Well, I want to catch Oxy real quick, and then we will uh, thunder. Pretty sure I already have thunder. Is there anything else around this lake? Do I really need to do the whole lake to make sure? Probably not, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Okay, we don't. So let's fly up north here. I know exactly where. He's right at that dock, just south of town. But I do want to go to the lake first. <coughs> Might as well heal him for an ape over here. There you go, Meta Cham. That was also a hero of our of our uh, run through the Elite Four there. Infernape and Meta Cham kind of put the, the team on their backs for that. I'm just so, I was so pumped when Infernape knocked uh, Garchomp out. Woo! That one hit KO. What a loser. Oh. Helps if I don't run right into a tree. Sneasel. Yeah, Sneasel is a sick Pokemon. That works. Gonna be level 86 here soon. Won't be long before uh, Infernape gets to level 100. I don't know how much. I don't know if he'll get close to level 100. He might make it into the 90s for the. For the second round of Elite Four. Oh, I didn't save. Definitely gonna save before I do this. Wouldn't want to accidentally kill him. There we go. So do I fight this guy or does he run away too? No, fight him. So I wonder, is just what's the other one? Mess spirit? Is he actually like just roaming now? Okay, let's see if I can get lucky this time. Do the same thing I did last time. Two power punches. Ooh. Probably not gonna get lucky this time. Oh, I don't really wanna punch him another time. Punch him one more time. Or do I just start throwing Pokeballs? Pokeballs it is. I don't think I'll get him. But I was thinking there for a second. I'm like, holy cow, did I actually? No, I don't think I can hit him again. I think it'll knock him out. So, unfortunately, we're stuck to this. I should have thrown... Oh, I should have stopped and got... Uh, uh, false swipe from from uh, the department store. I know they sell it. I don't feel like I'm anywhere close to catching this guy. I mean, it'd be nice if he just lowered my attack. <sighs> Will I kill? Will I beat him? I 
think I will. Uh, we'll see what happens. Don't get him, don't get him, don't get him, don't get him. Nice. Oh okay. yeah. Now we'll start throwing Pokeballs. Nice. I think Oxy's my favorite uh, Lake Spirit. He looks sick. Looks way cooler than the other ones. He looks more, well, I wouldn't say he looks more like a Lake Spirit, but I definitely think he looks cool, especially for a Psychic Pokemon. Yeah, this one, uh, I have a feeling this one's going to take a little bit longer than the last one did. That's for sure. Oh, why is it still super effective? Sometimes I don't understand that double typing. two of the three and I assume that other guys what is it Asleph or Mespirit Mespirit I believe he is a, wander <coughs> a wandering legendary so I guess we'll see what happens um, I guess we quickly run down to the professor's house here talk to him let him know that we've seen every Pokemon in the Pokedex At least one time. And then we'll head up and <clears throat> go to that next island. Nice. Oh, nice. Professor Oak's here. They kind of look similar. I know, Oak, it's good to see you haven't changed one bit. This is youngster has filled out every page of the Sino you know, Pokedex for me. Classic Oak. I'm sure one has to be bringing Oh nice. So I do get the national deck, nice. Um so yeah, it goes all the way up to I don't remember which guy it goes up to. Arceus? Yeah, so I think it yeah, I think this national deck only goes up to the Sinnoh decks. So no, oh, that's not what I want to do. I want to look at this Pokedex. Is there a way to turn it off national? Oh, there is. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I want to go to the bottom and see who the last guy is. Yeah, so it only goes up to up to here. So up to gen... One, two, three, four? Is this fourth gen? Yeah. Yeah, so it only goes up to the fourth gen, which is fine. Oh, okay. Oh, to tell me that there's new Pokemon in the underground. Here's Grand Elite. I mean, great job. All the gym leaders are really happy for you too, but you know, we gym leaders aren't going to take lying down. Losing you is rough on all of us, yet we still have our pride. Because this, you know, AIDS. 
Uh, okay, so they want to battle again. So what I think I'll do is we'll go catch some new Pokemon, train up uh, maybe one, well at least one, maybe two new guys, and go from there. Um, I want to heal, that's what I wanted to do. Sweet, that's awesome. So everything is falling into place. Excellent, excellent. Um, town map, head up north, and yeah, we head to whatever this island is called. I don't remember. A lot of tough trainers there, if I do recall, maybe. Okay, so the guy we're supposed to talk to is this guy right here. Sure. I thought uh, Andy was going to be here waiting for us. Guess not. Oh. Can't be too, too warm on that boat. Oh, okay, there he is. Um, 100 million. Yeah, I mean... Because they're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going into the volcano right now. No anything. All right. No, no, okay. So the volcano is supposed to be a treasure. Please, when you guys beat Deli 4 and her Garchomp, then you tell me who's the greatest. I'm Buck, and if that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. Okay, so I honestly have, I'm running this. This is me running blind. I don't know what's going on, what's happening, where I'm going here. I'll grab some of these berries though. I would like to get into some Pokemon battles here with some half decently tough trainers. there another one I'll water them and they're both watered click click let's go bitter patter no not that one this one there you go buddy now you're cooking with vinegar I guess we'll go with this Chipotle berry. Alright, so we're all healed up. No, that's not who I was talking to. Why would I... <sighs> Come on, get out of here. It's just like a little town here that go the right way. So I could get a, I believe I can get a Torchic, but I don't necessarily want to switch my uh, Infernape out for another firefighting. And I don't think I need two firefighting. Um, who else can I get? I can get any of the hit on people. Well, better stack up on these. I need 17. Uh, I don't think I need anything else here. I don't want to sell anything right now. Scope lens. See, that's why I talk to everyone. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, so this 
this the battle tower then? Battle park ahead where trainers. Um, let's see. I guess we head north to the survival area or do we head to the resort area? Uh, let's go with survival area. Hopefully we find some half decent trainers here. Oh, nice. There's a super rod. I'm pretty sure I knew that this was the guy that gave it to you. really that's the first one brand new island I waste my experience on eradicate level 50 though so at least these guys aren't super weak right yeah that wasn't very much experience though I want to get into some double battles here See what my team does, but you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set Metacham because as my second, because he was a hero, a darn hero in that Elite Four. Get out of the oh my goodness, this Infernape is driving me nuts. Is this a double battle? Yes. Okay, here we go. Psychic and a ranger. Oh, I don't like how bright the the screen is with the uh, because it's dusk. It's about to turn to night. It's too bright. Ice punch, why not? Yeah, so we'll, uh, what the plan is, guys, I think what we'll do is we'll clear out this island here. We'll do everything we can on this island. See if we can find any of those, um, extra fighters I might have to do a little bit of research to see where you find them and if I have to do that then what I might do is uh, train off screen just to get a little caught up because I definitely don't want you guys watching me up one guy from zero to level 65, level 75. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Not as much as I thought it would. Oh, if it turned to daytime though, the screen's hurting my eyes. Okay, let's finish this guy up. Psychic now. there don't really have the type advantage water Pokemon are still kind of my the bane of my existence really don't have much to go against them oh come on no bueno that's my fourth or fifth one oh I guess he's psychic right that would make sense Probably a half decent uh, defense. Well, that 
took a lot longer than I wish it could, would have. Oh, another battle here. Oh, we'll get a flying guy. All these new Pokemon though. Just fill it on my Pokedex. You know what? Um, a lot of people are, I see, I saw a few days ago that some people are starting to get real mad that they're creating so many different uh, regional variants for the Gen 1 guys. I like the variants. I don't care if it's a Gen 1 guy or a Gen 6 guy. I wish there were way, I wish there were more regional variants. So like Farfetch'd into Surfetch'd, Surfetch was cool, I liked him. I never used him just because he never really fit into my team, but I still think he looked cool. Mm, I guess we'll go this way quick. Oh, maybe not. Well, this way quick. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of like backtracking and running around, make sure I get everywhere I want to go here. Make sure I'm not missing any of these easy items. Wild encounter. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. More eradicates. Alright, punch. Yeah, I have. Ooh, sorry, guys. I have no recollection of this island in the slightest. If you were to tell me I'm about to fight someone super strong or powerful, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't doubt it. That's why I think I'm going to get stuck running around here, backtracking lots. But that's alright, because I do want to prep my team for another run through that Elite Four. So I'm pretty sure they jack up their Pokemon too, if I do recall correctly. But I guess we'll see. It'll be hard to figure out when to stop tonight, that's for sure. I'm sure the post game for this game isn't that long. So just give me one second, I'm just gonna try something here on my computer. Aftermath, though. Oops, that's not where I want to go. So I just I should have everything set up here. Nice, a Dawn fan. That's uh, outrageously underrated Pokemon. I think Dawn fan is so cool. What a what a cool Pokemon.
And I, I even don't like I don't even mind that he's super tiny either. I still think he looks super cool. And it messed me up here a little bit if I'm not careful. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Maybe I'll start switching some other guys in here. So I can get some other guys leveled up. I won't be able to do this entire leap forward just in Fnaf again. Especially if that guard chomp is there, which I don't see why it wouldn't be. I better heal before I fight this ace trainer. Cause I guarantee he's gonna have a Gyarados or something stupid like that. But I guess I have the ice moves now, so. Oh, a normal type's not gonna do much against me. Oh, I need a run out of power up punches here though. Yeah, I'm gonna start switching some other people in, making sure that my teams are getting, everyone on my team's getting playthroughs, or getting some experience. Uh, mill tank. Oh, mill tank. The bane of every Gen 2 player's existence. People can talk and say that Whitney didn't give them trouble, but if they say that, they're lying. Whitney gives everyone trouble. It's because of this dang mill tank. It's gotta be pretty heavy. Yeah. Loser. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's probably like level 50. I'll take that experience though. Yeah, it's too bad Toxicro couldn't have been better. What's in here? Somewhere to heal? Oh, just fresh water. That's alright. Okay, um. Am I cutting this down for nothing? I don't really see anything in there. No, don't cut that one down. Oh, there it is. Lax incense. I uh, might as well jump across that river real quick. Oh, a Firo, eh? A lot of people give the new generation slack for being so... I guess, I don't know if the word diverse is right, but making them look so different the new Pokemon but then you look at the gen 1 and I literally just fought a giant bird was that really that artistically designed so I I'm not one to to bag on the new generation Pokemon and saying that they look good and they should go back to the old ways because they they don't need to the new Pokemon look cool if any of the Pokemon look lame, it's I have to argue that Gen 1 guys are a little on the weaker side for their looks. Like, you got people like Pinsir, that's sweet. But then you have people like Clefairy, or Fero, Fero and Raticate. They're literally a brown rat and a brown bird. Oh, that's not what I wanted to use. Yeah, there are definitely some good ones. But I'm not gonna hate on the new generations, saying go go back to the way Gen One was. I don't. I know one of the big ones that people hate on is Vanillux because it's an ice cream cone, or Clef Key because it's a keychain. Man, those are sick looking Pokemon. People can they can talk all they want. I like Vanillux. I think he looks sweet. 
I've trained up my fair share of them. Dark type. I think I need to get a more comfortable chair though. <laughs> Sitting here, my new little setup, and my back is killing me. Nice. So, so far, I remember these trainers being a lot more difficult on this island for some reason. Is that just me or is my memory just that bad? I know, thanks. So the first comment here, chair is important. Yeah, I think uh, chair will be my first big purchase in the next little bit here. Flaffy. Now we need a flamethrower. Start using some of these so I'm not using up all my power up punches. Oh, Atropius. I never, never used Atropius. I think he looks sweet, but he's just never a guy that. So when Gen 3 came out, so when the original uh, Ruby and Sapphire came out, that's when Fire Red and Leap Green came out. So my brothers bought Ruby and Sapphire and I played, I bought uh, Fire Red. So I never really played those games until they did the remakes of Omega and Alpha a few years ago. But then did I play the heck out of those games? That was the first game. <clears throat> uh, was the first time with the larger Pokedex that I got everyone. So that was pretty cool. Took me forever. But I also did it without... Uh, I'll put the tomato butter in there. I did that without having uh, to trade a bunch of guys. Like I, the only guy I remember trading was for the last one, which was I think the last book when I caught was a giraffe rig. <coughs> Holy, forty-six pineapple berries. What is this Pokemon Go? No, I have no shinies on this playthrough. Haven't necessarily been looking too, too hard. Definitely haven't been shiny hunting, that's for sure. It's always nice to come across an accidental shiny, though. Yeah, let's do some close combats here. I can't believe Ghost Combat was the move that won me the Elite Four. Have I seen any just in regular Pokemon? Oh yeah, tons of Shinies. I've, I've seen tons of Shinies. Um, I've done lots of hun Shiny hunting, just not on this playthrough. I don't know. Shiny hunting kind of... Sometimes I can do it, but then sometimes it kind of kills the game for me. Like, I know I was trying to breed. That was the biggest reason why I stopped playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So I was trying to breed 
certain Pokemon to get the shiny and using all the methods and everything. I remember I bred a shiny Charmander and it took me like 30 eggs to hatch to get him. And I was super pumped about that. But then I tried to grind out because I wanted to add, I wanted to have a shiny Gyarados. I don't know why. I just, I think shiny Gyarados looks cool, but I don't know why I wanted him in that game. But I hatched like 700, 800, 900 eggs and I was like, I can't do this. And it kind of knocked, that was probably one of the last times I played that game was when I was still trying to grind that out. But at that point, I had already completed the Pokedex, the entire national deck, um, done everything I really could have in the game. Yeah, I definitely did not want to grind out uh, Shinies. Gotta play Minecraft. I haven't played, that's another game I haven't played in a long time. I just, sometimes I, we can get into a good circuit and have some fun, but then sometimes you just get kind of bored after a while. Well, I do, so my cousin here is messaging me. Yeah, I do see the, I have seen the world you guys built with all the, with the zoo and the castles on top of the mountains. Yeah, they look pretty sweet. I mean, I'd be down to uh, to play a game with you guys if we wanted to do one live. Okay, so I think I'm Pretty much in this little town. Where is it? Oh, right here. Survival area. What did that sign say? No turning back now? Oh, staging point. <laughs> I thought it was trying to give me a warning. Like, don't come. Get lost. Uh, who is in the middle? Is this the game with... Okay, so watch me try to get, watch me get lost trying to run around here. Search for red Gyarados. <laughs> That's so funny. We were just talking about it. What is this? Oh, facade. Not a half bad. This is where I needed to go. didn't do is talk to those people in the Poker Center at the other place. I hate that. There might have been something good there. I might have missed an item. Oh, nothing in this one. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm here to buy. Oh, anything good, anything that I need? Do I want to buy more, just in case I run into or something? Nah, maybe not, we'll just pass. Because I talked to everyone.
54 win streak. I was on a lot higher than a 54, 54 win streak before I lost to what's her face in the Elite Four. Oh, okay, so now it's nighttime, guys, in the game, which makes it so much easier on the eyes. Holy cow, that bright dusk definitely isn't easy to watch. Get out of the way, Infernape. Come on. You're supposed to be the leader of my team. All you're doing is holding me back. Okay, let's see if I can not get lost on this mountaintop. Uh, I don't mind Bennett. Bennett's a half decent Pokemon. Thought his Mega looked a little. He yeah, was all right. They're definitely cooler Mega Pokemon, that's for sure. Turn, turn. <clears throat> Is he gonna turn? Yes, there we go, double battle. Bird Keeper Ginevra. doing good. Got some chest congestion here. Gyarados with the Intimidate. I wonder... Is... No, it's, this is not just effective. See, I don't understand the double typing sometimes. Sometimes, the, if the move... Sometimes the move will be super effective still. Even if it's a contradicting type, and then sometimes it will. So, if someone knows why and I'm just too dumb to understand, let me know. Does it have to do with something with what types first or what times second? Ow. That did not do nearly as much as... Well, might as well just use Psychic or Zen Headbutt here. That Metacham, so strong. Oh, so strong. Level up quick now, too. Ball. Yeah, it's alright. 
Okay, so I passed that one trainer. I need to go back that way, quickly fight him before continuing up the beach. And I better go check out that one spot over there too. So I think I'm going the wrong way here. Trainer Graham, or Graham. Infernape though, just clearing house, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. There we go, two levels up. 227 and 280 for attack. Yeah, I should have just went this way first. What is this? What's in here? What do you give me? Nothing? What a waste. I come all the way back just to, for, just for that? Huh. Sad. Sad, sad. So now time to backtrack everywhere I've already been. Did I go up there? Oh, I hope I did. I don't want coming back down, so. No, didn't. Nah, I'm not going back for the berries. That's fine. I'll survive without them. Another finesse. Yeah, I'll have to, uh, might have to do a little bit of research and see where I get these guys. These other fighting types. What I might do is see if I, because I think the one I can catch in the underground now. So what I might have to do is go find him in the underground and then go from there. Swimming? I don't want to swim. Oh, I guess I'm swimming. Backtrack here just to check. Nothing really. Uh, yeah, that was. I wish I ha I did have a thunder move would be nice, it would be convenient, that's for sure. Especially against some of the like, Gyarados or these Tentacruels. But then to do that, I'd have, I think the only guy that has the capability of getting Thunder Punch on my team without like breeding baby moves which I don't even know if anyone else could. Um, but yeah, the only other guy, the only guy that can get it without doing something like that is uh, Medicham. All right, who she have? Bar 
whatever. That's not going to cause me too much issue. Should be half decent, I think. Fairy, I'm still not. What is fairy? I think fairy is weak against dark. No, fairy is good against dark. So I had it backwards. So we'll go from there and see what happens. Beating with a throw chop here. Yep, that works. Is Celio? Is he ice yet? He must be ice at this point. Or is he just water? If he's ice, this should hurt him. No, oh, he's definitely ice. I think Wall Rain is a really cool Pokemon. If I did a water team, I'd definitely have a Wall Rain on my team, that's for sure. Something up there? Nope. Is that like a three or four different ways to go here, though? Watch, this guy have nothing for me too. Oh. Cool. Just what I wanted. An avocado. I feel like I'm just getting tricked here and going to all these different areas just for nothing. And then I have to fight all these guys I don't want to fight. I feel like I'm running out of PP again here. I might have to. I really don't want to have to change Infinite Boat. But it might just end up being the case. Come on, I walked an inch. And now it's a stupid Pelipper. quick here. There's not going to be anything. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I'll take the PP up. I don't really need it anymore. I needed it more for when I was battling in the Elite Four. Drizzle, let it rain. Stupid. So I go this one or the one below me. Miss something. Might have to go back. I 
now I'm just button mashing. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if I'm to do this. I'm gonna take a quick snap here, guys. Send out my new location or my new setup. Um, speaking of secondary, or speaking of Snapchat and stuff like that, um, if you guys like what you see, at the bottom of the screen there, you can see the links to my other social media here. So you can catch me, if you want to see some of the behind the scenes stuff, you can catch me at McMadamus underscore live. Um, not the most liveliest yet. I want to I want to get more into doing my Instagram stuff, making sure that I'm posting and keeping you guys up to date on the stuff going on in the background. Um, so it's only gonna get better. It's like fine wine, it's gonna age. Um, the other thing I want to mention is my YouTube channel, guys. So if you're just tuning in and you've only seen maybe this episode or the last couple episodes of my stream. This type challenge series, um, if you've missed any of the previous episodes, you can go to YouTube, check out the channel. Um, there's a playlist there that covers everything that you might have missed in this playlist or uh, in this series. Um, I'm going to keep uploading my videos there, so if you ever do miss anything and want to catch up, you're more than welcome to go and watch. Um, I know like this series isn't gonna we only have a few handful handful more episodes in this series before we start moving on to getting ready for the Legends of RCS game that comes out at the end of January. So um, I do wanna be one of the first on there. I want to stream that. I want you guys to be able to watch me experience that game for the first time. So once once this series is over and it's no longer on my Twitch, you'll be able to catch the series at W Brother Gaming on YouTube. Um, like I said, I'm just starting out, so I'm still working on some things here and there. Um, but if you guys like what you see, check it out. Definitely not going to persuade you not to check it out. Um, but there, so that's my shameless plug. Let's get back into Pokemon here. So I'm still not a hundred percent sure I'm making my way there. I'm making my way down the right path. I know I had to kind of jump back to go fight this guy because I missed him. Um, but I'm hoping we can get to the volcano. I think it's this way. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Like I said, guys, I honestly have no memory of this island one bit none Sharpedo I'll keep it out so yeah this is just me running around like a chicken with my head cut off trying to remember where I'm going here Watching my rough skin again. Yeah. That's alright, no big deal. Leveling up though. Oh, Toxic Rope's almost level 79. Maybe we can get everyone to level uh, 80 before we finish this playthrough today. So, if you guys got a few levels to go here. Okay, so keep heading. Oh, instead of going through that building, I want to quickly just check over to the left of us, see if there's anything up there. Go 
good to go, good to go. <sighs> Come on. And for nothing, for what, 500 experience? So this must be the way to get to the volcano. Oh, okay, so I see, I see. So, do I go to this town over here, or do I? Ah, let's just keep going towards the volcano, why not, right? So there's the soot coming from the sky. I wonder if this is where we find ourselves a uh, spinda. I hate using the bike so much. for sure here. They should get them. Oh, I see. Awkward. So back onto the bike, try not to fall off this cliff here. And this is why I hate the bike so much. That wasn't realistic at all. You see how much air I got on that jump? Okay, Ranger Felicia. Look at them, eh? Yeah, out of all the gym leaders and types I could have faced, fighting a normal type in the LD4 would have been nice. Give me at least one trainer that I am, um, my fighting types work against. guys that haven't played in a while so let's get uh oh no no that's not what i wanted to do okay i guess that's what we're doing take that bigger off for a second there i thought i had the second i second guessed myself i i thought that bigger off was fighting i look oh well that's a guy i could put on my team and then i look never mind he's not and we're close to that fighting type. Okay, don't fall off this cliff. Don't fall off this cliff. Nice. Didn't fall off the cliff. Oh, Crasher, Wake, and Andy. Everyone keeps getting tougher and tougher, and in doing that, they do a closer bonds with their Pokemon. For someone who will borrow or seize, it's tough to do that. Accents or anything. Uh, Twenty one. These guys, those are such low, low win streaks. All right. So yeah. So crash or wait, guys. Can't wait for us to finish up here on this island because I want to. Uh, Oh, nice. I'll take that rest stop. I do want to face those gym leaders. So I think that's going to really be the, the wrap up of the series is we'll finish up this post game. 
We'll catch the rest of the fighting Pokemon. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Um, decide if I want to train up a few more of them. If I do, I, like I said, I'll do that off screen so you guys don't have to watch me train someone. Um, but you, come on, Infernape. What are you doing? All right, how about you fight me? How about you stop calling me weak? I'm the champion right now, just to let you know. I, don't know. I think he heard me. You guys saw him run away. He ran away pretty quick there. If that trainer hadn't stopped me, I probably was going over that edge. For sure, I was going over that edge. Don't know why I used Flamethrower out of all the moves I could have used. That yeah, works anyways. You know who has a cool uh, region variant is Meowth. I love yeah, Meowth's uh, region variant. And I love Berserker. He looks cool. Very Viking esque. Funny thing about Hypno is if I had a nickel for every time that I caught a shiny drowsy, I'd have 15 cents. I've caught three accidental. I would never ever shiny hunt for drowsy. I've caught three accidental drowsies. Two of them in, one of them in, two of them in silver, and one of them in the remake of silver a few years later. All outside the Poker Center. Or in the Poker Center, the, the daycare. Three. Three accidental shiny drowsies. Why? Shiny drowsy is so lame. Hypno is lame. Drowsy and Hypno combined are lame. They might be some of my least favorite Pokemon. Zinc. So I'm finding all these items that I'm definitely not going to need. Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Take a quick look at what's down there. Just the one item. Okay, so I... Oh, I have to loop back around anyways. Oh, get off the bike. What are you doing? No, I, I also don't know why I just swam across this instead of running through that grass there. Infernape <laughs> chilling up on the top. Oh, okay, let's run through the grass this time. Nice. Okay, I didn't realize I had to go across this. Okay, so back on track, get off this bike before I crash into something that I don't want to crash into. Oh, a Rhygon. So at first I didn't like Rhyperior. I thought he was really lame with the coloring, but now I love Rhyperior. I think he's one of the coolest Pokemon. Yeah, definitely like Rhyperior. Didn't like him when this game first came out. My brother had one on his team. And I always thought he just, he, I just thought he looked kind of lame. But I'll tell you what, I like Rhyperior right now. And Rhyhorn and Ry, Rhydon, they're also, they're cool. So, they did a good job. That should be a little bit of experience. Yeah, there we go. I actually might get everyone to level 80 by the time this uh, today's playthrough is done. Okay, I feel like there's going to be a lot of ju jumping back and forth and 
going where I don't want to go. I just want to get to the volcano. Cacturn. This is kind of what I wish uh, Sword and Shield had done. Like they did, they had the two DLCs, which worked really well to move in some of the Pokemon. But I kind of wish they just, they, maybe a third DLC or fit all the Pokemon in the two DLCs. I think it would have been cool. I do miss, I definitely missed having access to all the, what is happening here? Oh, that's for me not paying attention. Machamp, eh? Pretty sure it's the first time we fought a Machamp. Um, yeah, I definitely missed in Sword and Shield having access to all the Pokemon and being able to see them all battle in those big stadiums for the gyms, which I've said once before, I've said a few times before, is my, probably my favorite part of Sword and Shield is the fact that the gym battles are done like that. That's how I always imagined it in my head as a kid, is that's how the gym battles were done. Oh, is this guy going to get in my way if I walk all the way here? Nope. Okay, that works. I was worried that he would just block my path. I noticed that this game kind of... Uh, they made the gym battles look like you were fighting in a little bit of a stadium, so I can appreciate that. But yeah, just the fact that you were in that giant stadium and there were people going crazy, it's so cool. And then the battling the finals, I like that it was like a final tournament. Yeah, I ain't gonna beat him using that. Especially if he uses that. He shouldn't be faster than me. Oh, why do they use close combat? Because now I'm weak and he's going to attack me with the water Pokemon. Or with the water Pokemon. With the water move. No. Or a move that I'm... That is not as effective against me. Power up punch. Is he going to get him? Yeah, we go. Got lucky on that one. Um, da, 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 da. Dragon Tamer Damien. Is there something down here? Oh, do I want to jump? Not overly. I don't want to miss anything good. Life Orb. I regret this. Follow up for all that for protein. Come on. I guess I had to go this way anyways. Or go all the way back up those rocks. I just want to bottle this buck guy. After he's been talking mad mad crap about me. As if he thinks he's the best Pokemon trainer. I didn't see him with the lead championship. Oh. Oh, and I'm gonna do some cave spelunking. Oh, Camelrunt. Interesting. At least we're seeing a wide variety of Pokemon we haven't seen. Is he just fire? Is he fire ground? I do not remember. Close combat it is. I'll 
take the critical hit. Nice. Almost level 88 here. Okay. Eruption zone. I want to heal my guys real quick. Got this fresh water. Might as well use it. Useless, but... That's it. That's everyone. Okay. Heading into... Now watch me push this stone in my way here. How do I do this? Are you able to push the stone? Oh, okay. I did not know. I was like, how am I going to get around this? Didn't realize I could push this down the... Oh, I'm a cargo. He actually has a really cool shiny type. Or shiny type. Shiny. It goes from red to just being gray. And the shell stays roughly the same color. Which is what magma does when it gets hard, right? So. He is just fire, so... Actually, that'll work. I guess it makes sense that we'd see my car, right? Fire, volcano. Oh, a decent little chunk of experience there for that one. Alright, so let's see if I can get everything in here without messing up. I like how I just went down a giant dip to just go up the other side. Of course. Why wouldn't it be sturdy? There's always sturdy. Oh, I thought he self-destructed there. Uh, might as well have. I'll take an escape rope. Uh, okay. Top one, bottom one, that one. See, I'm not a total dummy. I get it sometimes. I must get it, be getting close to the end of this. Oh, is he rock type? I could have swore he was just fire type. Hmm. It's a Pokemon that I never really ever used was a Macargo. I don't even remember where you catch them in Johto. Which is pretty sad, considering that Gen 2 is my favorite gen. And I probably played more of it than some of these other games. Wheezing. Um, what do I think about Wheezing's variant? I didn't mind it. Whatevs. I think it was kind of cool to... To have the the exhaust pipes on him look like top hats, kind of cool. All right, so let's make sure. Oh, I see Andy. So he must be getting close to the end. Oh. 
What a tricky, tricky one. Four star. I'll pick four star. I wonder if I have to fight Andy here. I guess I haven't fought him since uh, I destroyed him before the Elite Four. Oh. Whoops. Let's talk to him before I go in there. That buck guy wiped the floor with us. Oh man, there's always tough trainers everywhere. Oh, that's depressing. Is this buck guy that strong? I honestly don't remember. Uh, I want to make sure my guys are healed before I fight them here. Just in case. How strong could he be? Can he be stronger than the Elite Four? <laughs> I mean, that's how I treat him, but that's my guy. That's my rival. I get to treat him like that. Oh, now I get to just double battle with Buck? Oh, okay. Um, let's go all the way this way first. What do you got? I don't, I honestly, I didn't even realize I got to walk with this guy. Shows how much I remember about this, uh. A cladle, eh? Okay, okay. Uh, well, I might as well power up Punch Kang is gone. He can handle the Aerodactyl. Well, I hope he was paying attention when he saw that. Realized I'm just not a weak trainer like Andy. I hope Andy didn't give me a bad reputation. Earth ring, eh? Well, I'll take the earth ring on now, too. You keep trying to fight that Aerodactyl with your ground moves, dummy. Oh, my jam. Getting stronger. It's so slow, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, don't worry, Buck. I'll get it. I'll do all the work here. Thanks for the help, though. I just, I don't want to miss anything. I wish I had a map of this place. That's for sure. Oh, not with the Geo dudes. Come on. Of course, why wouldn't he have sturdy? I fought fifty geodude, or fought a thousand geodudes this playthrough, and he's gonna use a stupid move like that. I hate that. I hate when you have your with partners and they just they don't use moves that are intelligent. something here not really thanks for the help holy I didn't remember doing that much improves every stat 
I'll have to remember that when we play him. I'm assuming we're going to battle Buck here. Oh, what the heck? I can't even use rock climb. Okay, please, no sturdies. I'm not going to get anywhere if you got sturdies. At least I'm healing my PP here after every battle. Oh, I guess it would probably help if I did full damage. Ha, huh, you didn't beat yours either. Well, that hurt. Okay, so I can't even rock climb down everything. So I'm gonna have to come back to this cave once I ditch this loser. I guess I could walk downstairs though. I just don't want to hate missing things. It's going to be frustrating to do this. Come on. Really couldn't finish him off with that? Oh, well, that'll finish him off. It definitely gave my uh, Machamp dual chop. It was one of my backup moves for trying to beat uh, her guard chomp. I literally gave four of my six guys a move set to beat the guard chomp. And then I pumped Infernape up, hoping that he was just faster and could overpower him. So the only guy that wasn't prepped to fight guard chomp was. Uh, What's his name? Toxicroak. And I didn't even need him. Nah, I just realized that Buck is wearing the deepest V ever. So I'm gonna lose this Macargo twice. Man, sometimes I wear a deep V, but man, Buck's wearing a deep V. Bucks guy at 58. You think he's gonna beat me with level 58 guys? Yeah, I hate to burst your bubble guy, but there's a reason I'm the champion and you're not. Pokemon like that aren't gonna help you. Holy cow, this is kind of when I wish I did have a, a repel. Oh, nice. No sturdy either. I'll take that. Oh, 
Come on. We're not getting anywhere fast today, that's for sure. I like double battles, but these double wild battles take way too much time. <laughs> Gross. Just what I wanted was to be poisoned. I'm not overly worried about that Claydol if he's going to be level 58 against me. And I know we ain't going to jack him up 30 levels before we fight, so... Yeah, a guy can keep wishing. But there's only one champion, and it's me. I probably have to come back and go through this cave. But what I might do is try to finish this up with Buck and then see what happens after that. But probably, I don't know how much further we have to go today. So what I might do is finish this up with Buck, finish up this little uh, mountain, this volcano. And then uh, call it quits. And then what I might do is on my downtime, I'll see if I can figure out where those other, those new fighting types are. Go catch them, maybe breed them, and then do a little training off screen. I guess we'll see. Um, I don't think we're going to necessarily fight like all eight gym leaders in one go next time, but... at least a handful of them but yeah so the series guys is slowly starting to wind its way down what I might do is what do we got three weeks over three weeks till the next game comes out and we might have to find something to keep us busy in the meantime we don't necessarily want to do another playthrough or anything like that overheat huh I don't think that's a physical move. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I do want to check out Overheat, though. I know it's not a physical move, but... hundred and thirty. That's half decent. Energy ball. Facade. Okay, so... Definitely not going the right way here. combat on him break in that XP be nice to see some wild Steelix out here instead of just the Onyx of course he uses dig what a waste of my time I should have knocked out his uh his clay doll. Yeah, and sturdy. Don't dig, don't dig. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, 
Getting up there in strength. Holy cow, we don't get to walk very far before our next battle. I feel like we're never going to get out of this cave. Out of my house, I'm a choke. On the bright side, I do think everyone's gonna get to level 80 today. Lucario's got some strength, but he's slow. I didn't necessarily breed the best nature for, uh, for, uh, Lucario. I had a hard time breeding natures for him. It wasn't a fun go. Um, we're still we're just trying to make it through this uh, this volcano right now. But I have this guy tagging along, thinking he's tough, but he's walk, rocking a level fifty eight clay doll. He's dragging me down. So not this way. <sighs> Come on. All the time with battles. No bueno. Trying to deal with these guys as fast as I can so I can, yeah, literally just one after another. I walk five feet between battles. And now he uses the most frust one of the most frustrating moves in the world. Not confusion, not a move that hurts me and then has a possibility of confusing me, but just straight confusion, right? <sighs> That's frustrating. Nice. Way to be infinite. Way to fight through it. Stupid gold bat. Okay. Do I okay, I'm gonna see. Do I have if I have a repel, I'm gonna use it just because I don't want to be I don't remember what is it in here. No, no repels. Come on. Every time I think I'm getting somewhere. And I can't climb the rock walls with him. So I, that means I have to come back here later. Which sucks. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, I'm at the point where I'm frustrated with how long this is taking. I would much, I don't like using repels that often because I like having the experience, but this is just taking way too long. And like this guy's not even beating him. Like if you're gonna talk crap, like you're tough and you're beat my rival and yada, 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 at least beat people here. But when I gotta clean up your mess, come on. Embarrassing. It would help if I... Oh, nice. I'll take a flame plate. It would help if I knew anywhere of where I was going. Another double battle. At least we get to do a, an actual double battle here against trainers. Yeah, I, I don't mind teammates. I like I like that function in this game, but 
I hate that the teammates always have Pokemon that just aren't willing to attack. Or if they do, they're just not. They're not attacking Pokemon. The closest we got was Riley when he had a Lucario. He actually did damage most of the time. This guy, he does damage every so often, so he killed an Onix, but that's the... We've done four or five battles here before he killed anyone. I'm wasting my time. I would much rather do these double battles on my own and get the experience. So wasting it on your loser Pokemon. Keenan and Cassandra. Okay, what do you guys got? Primate. So we get it. We we can. Mankey's one of the fighting guys that we can get. Um, I don't know. The only one I'd switch him out for. Like I like Primate. I think he's. I think he's cool. But the only guy I'd switch him out for is Machamp, and Machamp is definitely better than. Prime Ape, unfortunately. Yeah, I always, I always liked uh, Prime Ape. Well, now I don't like Prime Ape. Tagging with close combat. Come on. I remember I always used a Prime Ape. I don't know if it was red or if it was yellow. But I'd always catch that primate before Brock's gym and just mess Brock up with my main key. Oh, Carnivine. Oh, so with the sunlight harsh, Carnivine has... Uh, G uh, Giga Blast? No. Solar Beam. He could have used it there without even having to charge it up. That's one of the things I liked about uh, Charizard, Mega Charizard Y, because he always made it sunny day when you transform him, and then I did. I would have uh, solar, uh, solar Beam on him to get rid of the water type Pokemon. As my counters. Yeah, I agree. The town's just too good to switch them out for a prime ape. People might actually think I'm crazy. I mean, I ain't doing much to help with that thought, but. All that for a rare candy. Definitely not what I was going for. Back to the battles. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going in here either. So I don't know if I'm close to where I'm supposed to be. But I do, I think that's what I want to do is I want to finish up this cave. I want to fight uh, this loser because he thinks he's tough. If that's what happens. And then I want to... I think that's where we'll call it a game today. So maybe another half hour or so. Depending on how long it takes me to beat all these uh, randos. Nice. Both of us avoided it. I'll take that. Quick power up punch to end this battle. There we go. That was literally like four feet.
works. I'll take that. Okay, run, man. Run. Let's go. Keep going. I actually made it halfway. I made it decent ways there before I had to fight these guys. Which is alright. I'll survive. I don't remember what that neutralizing gas does. Honestly, yeah, I have no no recollection. 250 strength on Machamp. He's almost as powerful as Metacham, and Metacham has a double double his strength ability. Come on, come on, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I made it half decently far again. It's just when I have to fight him every two feet, that's the frustrating part. I want to know what other guys this, this buck has that think, makes him think he's so tough. Well, still not strong enough to beat the Macargos with uh, power of punch. Oh, and the guy just come in and kill steals. As if. Decent move. Not as strong as I remember. I think it was only. Is it a powerful move? Okay, so we've gone all everywhere that way. Oh, no, we gotta go down that path. This way. I think we have to head. I don't remember. I'm so lost in this cave. I'm so turned around. And I keep forgetting that I can't go up the rock paths. Okay, so. Um, now that I've actually seen the. The rogue, I can go and find him in the wild now. So I'll have his Pokedex entry ish. I'll be able to look for him in the wild, which is good. Because I think I might want to put a. Like, neither. None of them are. Or like, him on top, him on Lee, him on Chan. None of them are, like, super great, but. I mean. They're kind of cool looking. At least him on Lee is. Him on top is alright. Him on Chan's. Yeah. But I'll, I'll forgive him for that one. That was not nearly as much damage as I was hoping to do. What a waste of a turn. Just attack them. I hope he hits. Dang it. I was hoping they both targeted Claydol. Okay, well, another power of punch will get him. But I guarantee this Claydol is going to try using a ground move against this Haunch Girl. It's going to try using Earth Power. Or I waste another turn using Cosmic Power, sure. This is like, I don't know, this is my, the frustrating stuff about this guy using cosmic power is it reminds me of the raid battles in Sword and Shield when you get paired up with the Soul Rock and all they use is toll is uh, cosmic power. 
Um, Breloom is... Oh, Breloom's a fighting type, right? Grass fighting. Oh, I think. Am I saying, am I, am I right? I don't remember if I am. If I am, I might put a Breloom on. I would definitely switch Breloom out for a Toxicroak. Is he a fighting type? Oh, I 100% don't remember. We can check it real quick. If that's the case, then I'm definitely going to go get a Breloom to replace Toxicroak. Then at least I'll have a uh, Grass guy that can hurt the water Pokemon that give me so much trouble all the time. Yeah, not the best experience. Oh, and a Firo. Just for just for kicks. Why not? Breloom. What is it? B R E L O O M. Oh man, this Claydol is so annoying. He's driving me up the wall here. I'm not going for that item. I gotta come back and do this again anyways, so. I'm pretty sure I gotta go. I had, I was close to where I was supposed to go at the beginning here. But before I turned around to make sure I went and got all the items. Come on. You don't like what uh, Claydo looks like? I don't like totally hate what Claydo looks like. I just, he just grinds my gears sometimes. Well, the way this guy is battling with him grinds my gears. Like why using cosmic power when you can just be, we're obliterating these guys. Just attack full frontal right now. Oh, I didn't even notice I'm in front of pit level 90. Nice. I definitely think Infernape will be ready for our second go of the Elite Four here. Nope, wrong way. Okay. I have to go this way. I can't go up the rock wall, so at least I'll get the double battle here. Yeah, I'm pushing. I'm getting close to level 100. I don't think we'll make level 100 before we fight the Elite Four again. We'll be, I think we'll be somewhere like 96, 97 level by the time we get, we fight the Elite Four again. I don't know how many levels my guys are going to grow doing the eight gym battles again. But I guess we'll see. Glare. <laughs> Loser. Don't worry, bud. I'll take care of the ram for us for you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm actually kind of looking forward to fighting these gym leaders again because I, I don't think that was part of the original game. I think that's something new for this game. It could be part of the original game. I honestly couldn't tell you. But I'm excited to see who they have for Pokemon with the national deck. I know my brother Felix said he went and fought Rourke and the first Pokemon Rourke lets out is a real high level Tyranitar.
Oh, why am I pair? Oh, he glared me too. <sighs> yeah, so just knowing that Rourke has a Tyranitar and his Pokemon are that cool, I can't wait to see what everyone else has. I'm expecting half decent battles for those ones. I don't. I'm hoping they're not. The they're not. Cynthia tough. I don't want to be stressing the whole time I'm doing these battles. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, Dunsparce. I'll give you that one. That Dunsparce probably isn't one of the coolest looking guys. I, he's one of the guys you keep hoping gets an evolution later. Like, one of the next gens. Give him an evolution. Make, give him like a dragon type evolution. Be cool. But you want to know a guy that I think kind of looks a little plain Jane is Marowak here. I think he could definitely be a little cooler. Oh, I'm supposed to be looking to see what the name of all these ace trainers are because I know they're one of the ace trainers names is Felix. So I found all my brothers in this game as uh, NPCs, but I know, and I know Felix is an ace trainer somewhere on this island. Okay, am I strong enough to get him with power up punch now? No. Okay, I'm just gonna stop trying. Oh, that kill steal. Does that make you feel like a tough guy stealing from me like that? Well, at least if he has uh Oh, I thought that was a. I thought there was a recoil on that one. I was gonna say, gets rid of his sturdy if he has recoil on that. Ah, didn't have. Yeah, I know my my internet's not the greatest here. That's what happens when you live out in the boonies. I feel like I'm not even going the right way right now. Uh, maybe I am. I keep running into trainers, so I must be going the right way. I'll let him fight that Geodude. Or right here. I feel like the way to go is if my guy were to go down the left path. That Machamp looks so tiny. The dragon trainer you're talking about in the purple. Cosmic power, come on. Um, dragon ground. Flamethrower's not going to do much against them, but why not? Oh, okay. Well, kill them anyways. That works. Of 
Cool. Nein. Cedra. Oh, this guy is three people. Holy cow. We got lots to go through. Yeah, I'm a little over leveled. But this was supposed to be a challenging island. It's a post game island for literally people that beat the champion. I don't know how I could have beat the champion at any lower of a level. I tried twice, if you guys don't remember, and lost twice before I beat him. Okay. Oh, and the dragon trainer's name is Drake, too? Yeah, I think he's so cool. Oh, you know what I should do? Is I should have thrown that, uh... The... Amulet coin back on my, uh... Infernape so I could get that double money. What else? No big deal. Oh man, that Garchomp, I was so flustered for like two or three days. I I knew he was going to be tough. I didn't expect for him to just run my team like that. I expected that I would give him at least a half decent challenge and that I would beat him. But no, that Garchomp definitely just, just destroyed me. I wasn't ready for that. That's why I had to, that's, I had the over level and I literally had to build five strategies into my team to beat him. Just to be one guy. You, you know the games, you know the trainers that Garchomp's too OP when you have to literally do that. You're not worried about the entire Elite Four or the champion. You're literally worried about just that Garchomp. But I'll tell you what, when we finally did beat him, holy cow was I pumped. I was so happy. Alright, we shouldn't have too much longer in this cave. I think we're getting close to the end. I'm hoping. Come on, no, no, sturdy. Come on with the sturdy. Ouch. Um, power punch, I guess. Hey, uh, Hamper, you should check out my uh, my Snapchat. I you should see my new setup here. There's one piece of my new setup that's pretty sick. Oh, I'm considering just running from these battles. I hate running from battles though, especially when they're like this Machoke, it's half decent experience. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I got that for free. Oh, come on.
Holy, I actually might be like level 95 by the time I get out of this cave. These battles are taking me so long. Oh, that self-destruct makes things go faster, that's for sure. Self-destruct, so with one HP. Come on. Oh, I don't know which way I'm going. I'm so lost in here. I can't I can't lose him. He's stuck with me till I finish the cave. If next time I come across a guy, there was a guy, I fought a couple onyxes and one of them used dig and I had, I had to kill a turn. I should have just attacked his guy. All right. Well, that's one way to get in a battle real quick. Metacham does 46 times 2. I hope I'm pushing this rock the right way. I'm going to be so choked if this just goes to a dead end. This better be the end of the cave. Yes. Thank goodness. Okay, please, bud. You weren't even... Do, you, you weren't any good. This guy. I want to save just in case there's some sort of legendary battle here. I don't... I honestly don't remember what's here. As if. Give me that stone. Wow, what a guy. Just uses me to get through this cave and then bails. Okay, right. um, what I'm going to do, guys, is I hate using escape ropes, but I'm going to use one just because I don't want to be in here anymore. This cave is frustrating me to the point of frustration. Um, but here's the plan, guys. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll call it quits here. I think what I'll do is off screen, I'll see if I can go, because I got the national deck now, I'll see if I can go and find some of these other fighting guys. Um, breed them a little bit. And uh, go from there. So I think we'll call it quits. I might be able to jump on tomorrow. We'll see what time I uh, get home at, see how tired I am. Uh, but thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I appreciate the the support. Hope you guys uh, tune in later. Like I said, if you like what you see, check me out on Instagram. Check me out on YouTube. Okay, guys. Thanks. Peace out.